There was only one smart Alex when I went to USA. He told me the brother Zakir. I will give him five years imprisonment. I said, fine. Then I told him that according to the statistics of America, out of those people who are convicted for rape and they are given imprisonment, when they come out, 95% rape again. So if you want a rape, if you want your mother to be raped again, you are most welcome. We Muslims don't want that. So he told me, if that is the case, then I'll give him death penalty as the first shot. Today, America, we look up to America as the most advanced country in the world. Do you know it is a country which has one of the highest rate of rape? According to the statistics of the FBI government in 1990 alone, every day 1,756 rape took place. According to the statistics of 2003, It says in the U.S. Department of Criminal Justice, again repeated in 1996, it says that every day on average 2,713 cases of rape took place in America. That means every 32 seconds one rape is taking place in America. We are here for one and a half hour. Already more than a hundred rape have taken place in America since the time we are here. I am asking you the question that if you implement the Islamic Sharia in America, that any man looks at a woman, if any unashamed thought comes in his mind, he should lower his gaze. After that, every woman, she should be modestly dressed, complete body covered, except the face and hands up to the wrist. And after that, if any man rapes a woman, he gets capital punishment, death penalty. I'm asking the question, will the rate of rape in America, will it increase, will it remain the same, or will it decrease? It will decrease. Easy question, easy answer. You don't have to be a scholar to know this. You implement the Sharia and you get results. But because Islam gives the solution, it does not go down the throat. But a few years ago, the Home Minister of India, L.J. Adwani, he had said in the parliament and he proposed that in India also there should be death penalty for the rapist. And I congratulate him for that. I may not agree with his other policies, but as far as this policy is concerned, I agree with him that death penalty for the rapist. Maybe the next Home Minister will say that every woman in India should have the hijab on, inshallah. If you want no rape to take place in India, anywhere in the world, whether it be America, UK, you implement the Sharia, you will get the results immediately. That's the reason the least rate of rape in any country in the world is in Saudi Arabia. Any country which implements the Islamic Sharia, Whatever part they implement, they get results. Whatever part they don't implement, they don't get results. Today we find that the religion of Islam, the religion of Islam, it is said to be a religion which degrades the woman, which subjugates the woman. For the complete answer, 
you can refer to my video cassette, Women's Rights in Islam. Time does not permit me to speak in detail. But if we analyze today the Western society claiming to uplift, claiming to uplift the woman is actually they are degrading the woman. The Western talk of women's liberalization is nothing but a disguised form of deprivation of honor, degrading a soul as well as exploitation of a body. The Western society claiming to uproot the woman have actually degraded her to a status of concubine, mistresses and society butterflies which are mere tools in the hands of pleasure seekers hidden behind the colorful screen of art and culture. In the name of art and culture and women's liberalization, what is the Western world doing? They are selling our daughters, they are selling our mothers, they are selling our sisters. And India, after a few years, what the Western country does, we find India is following that. Follow the good things, I've got no problem. You know, when I was in school, more than 20 years back, most of the newspaper, they were clean. You could hardly find any obscene photographs. But now, if you pick up any newspaper, whether leading newspaper, daily newspaper, most of them, almost all, they have to have obscene photographs in it. Even on the sports page, what do they have? Football star, then they show the girlfriend. So what does the girlfriend want to do with football? They want to sell the paper. Women's liberalization. Ronald, do you know what the name, I don't know all the names of the football stars. And then they say the girlfriend. Then you find the cricketer. And then you find the girlfriend. So even on the sports page, if there's no news of women, then they show the girlfriend. Invariably, all the newspapers, and many newspapers have supplements. Supplements. Like Times of India, the most famous newspaper. It's the largest selling English newspaper of the world. Largest selling daily newspaper of the world. It has supplement called Bombay Times. And people of Bombay know what is Bombay Times famous for especially page number three. And this was a strategy. And I do agree. After getting this strategy, the sale of Times of India has increased. I'm not against Times of India only. I'm, telling, I'm talking about Times of India because that's the paper I read daily. You talk about any other newspaper, DNA, Hindu uh, Hindustan Times, Indian Times, up or down, less or more, you'll find these 